Hello people, it's your main man E, and I'm coming at you today with a very exciting video because it really presents this concept that will help us all better understand our dogs, and that is this kind of question of what time is it, okay? Is it time to play? Is it time to work? Is it time to chill? Or is it time to do your own thing? Now, a lot of times when we have dogs that we're struggling with or we're not sure what is going on with them, that's one of those questions that we can always ask ourselves as well as our dog to help clarify, is there some confusion? Okay, so let me go over these different time frames and what exactly they represent and what they entail. So let's go over first this idea of work time. Okay, work time is going to be when I give the dog some sort of command. Sit, stay, lay down, heal. Uh, it could also be some time where I say to the dog, hey, look, um, I need you to just walk next to me and kind of ignore stuff. And you're not really in a heel, but you're not really smelling and exploring stuff. You're just kind of working, following me around. That's your job right now. I may have another dog where I say, hey, look, you know, your job is to be in the car here and to be patiently waiting for me to come back. And hey, if somebody tries to open the handle on the door, you bark at them. That's your job. Okay, so when I am giving the dog a job, it's very important that I'm clear. Hey, here's the job that you're supposed to do. And you're supposed to do that job until I tell you it's no longer time to do the job. Okay, and when we're done with the work, well, there is a variety of other times that uh, could happen. It could be playtime after that. It could be just time to relax or chill. It could be time to do your own thing. So playtime, playtime is the time to play with the human or in some cases with other dogs. Playtime is going to have a start and it's going to have a stop. So I typically will say to the dog, hey, you want to play? Or hey, you you, you want to, you ready to play? And the dog's going to go, man, I'm ready to play. So I play with the dog. And then when we're done playing, I say, hey, we're done. Um, a lot of times you find that dogs will start playing and then all of a sudden they're like, whoa, what's that smell over there? And they stop playing with us. So it's important when we first start playing with the dog, we go to low distraction areas and we're very clear, hey, now is the time to play. If you wanna play, I'm here, I'm ready to play, I'm willing to play. There's very few distractions around, let's play. And then when I'm done playing, I say, hey, we're done. And hey, if you wanna go smell and investigate stuff now, that may be what we're gonna do now. So that goes into kind of like, find your own fun or do your own thing time, okay? So do your own thing time is where I'm gonna say to the dog break or some sort of release word. Um, maybe it's even unspoken, you know, maybe in certain places I let the dog out of the car and I just let him kind of wander around and smell stuff. Now, it's very important that when it comes to doing your own thing, there are still rules, there are still parameters, just like in the other windows or in the other time frames, uh, like work time, there's rules, you know, if I say sit, you can't like jump up onto the, up the car and sit. You need to sit where I said sit. If I'm playing with you and the game is, you know, catch and chase or fetch, you can't just come and like smash into me and knock me over. And it's the same thing when the dog is doing their own thing or they're in this kind of like time zone of doing their own thing, there may be certain parameters like, hey, you're not allowed to hunt squirrels or you're not allowed to bark at people or you're not allowed to run away and not come back. So there are still rules within this time frame or this window of opportunity to do your own thing, there are still rules. And if the dog starts to deviate, I will let them know, hey, look, that's not really acceptable behavior. I know you're doing your own thing, but still, that's not okay. Now let's talk about the final time frame or the final time zone, and that's the chill time, okay? Chill time is where I just say to the dog, hey, just relax, nothing's going on here. You're not necessarily in a command. Um, but you're just chilling. So for example, when my dogs are in the car, that's what mode I expect them to be in. They're just chilling. They may be looking out the window and checking things out a little bit, but they're not anticipating finding some sort of fun or some sort of excitement. They're not looking around in the car trying to find things to eat. They're not barking at things that are walking by or driving by. Nope, they're just sitting there chilling. You know, They're not going, hey, pet me, pet me, pet me. No, I gotta drive guys. So. It's really important that we just ask ourselves and we ask our dog that question, what time is it? What is the window of opportunity here that we are presenting to our dog? And if they don't want what we are offering them and what is possible, 
you know, is it sometimes best to just say, hey, look, we're not going to give you what you want because that's not the right time. So it's really important that as the leader or as the human, we're the ones who really decide, hey, look, we're next to the road right now. Next to the road, we got to work or we got to chill, but we can't play next to the road. Hey, we're at grandma's house. At grandma's house, we got to chill. And hey, we can go in the backyard and we can play. But inside of the house, we can't really play. Grandma's got a lot of nice, nice things and antiques and stuff. And hey, we also don't want to knock grandma over. So it's also important to think about how does the dog go from one time frame to another. If I have a dog that really wants to play, I could tell them, hey, I need you to work for 15 minutes. And once you're done working, then you can play. Or hey, I need you to chill and just relax in the car for a couple hours. Once I'm done doing what I'm doing, then we can have some play time. Okay, so think about this and ask those questions to yourself and to if there's other people helping you take care of the dog. Uh, what time is it? Is it chill time right now? Is it play time? Uh, is it time to do some work and to give the dog commands? Or is it time for the dog to just be a dog and do their own thing with certain rules and limitations, obviously. So hopefully this video helps you. And if you have any questions, let me know. We can talk about this more in depth. But this is just this concept that we're the ones who decide what time it is for the dog not necessarily the dog. And if we find our dog constantly going, hey, it's time to play and it's one o'clock in the morning or hey, it's time for me to find my own fun. And it's like, yo, you're chewing on my furniture. We may need to up the ante in terms of the leadership and the structure to start being very clear. Now's the time to work. Now's the time to play. And if you start deviating into another time frame or another time zone, we may need to correct you or we may need to apply some sort of reinforcement that shows you very clearly and consistently that's not what's going on right now. So hopefully this has been helpful. I love you all dearly. I'm crazy about training dogs. So if you have any questions, like I said, just let me know. And remember, we don't blame them. We train them. If we love them, we lead them. Okay, y'all, have a great day.